Ratios and Proportions, Part 2. Hi, I'm Daniel D'Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 2 on the lecture on Ratios and Proportions. Here's the first problem. Problem 1. If A is to B is equal to 5 is to 7 and B is to C is equal to 6 is to 11, then A is to B is to C is? Alright, now the first sum, we've said that A is to B is equal to 5 is to 7 and B is to C is equal to 6 is to 11. What is A is to B is to C? Now, to write it down, there's a simple technique to do this. You know, what is common in both these ratios? You've got the letter B, right? So the quantity B is common in both the ratios. But here, they're saying if A is 5, then B is 7. And here, they're saying if B is 6, then C is 11. So what you're going to do is do some multiplication or division on either of these ratios or both these ratios and somehow get the B quantities equal to each other. Then you can join them and finish off the sum. So you've got 7 here and you've got 6 here. Now the easiest way is to multiply 6 into this ratio and 7 into this ratio. So what we'll do is we'll multiply this ratio by 6. Now A is to B will remain the same because it won't matter. 5 into 6 is 30. 7 into 6 is 42. Now 30 is to 42 is the same as 5 is to 7. I'm just multiplying it and manipulating it so that we can reach our answer. Now I will multiply this ratio by 7. So B is to C, if I multiply it by 7, 7 6 are 42. And uh, 11 7 are 77. Now you can see that I've got B is common here and I've got 42 common. So I can join these together. Now I can write A is to B is to C is equal to 30 is to 42 is to 77. I can join this because now both of these are the same quantities. So this is your final answer. Easy? Let's go on to problem number two. Problem two. If A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4 and B is to C is equal to 8 is to 9, then A is to C is? Alright. Now the second sum is pretty much like the first one. They've given you A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4 and B is to C is equal to 8 is to 9. They've asked you what is A is to C. Now, unlike the first sum, you just see this. B is 4 and B is 8, right? In the first sum, it was 6 and 7. You can't multiply anything into 6 to get 7 and you can't multiply anything to 7 to get 6. But in this problem, you've got 4 and 8. If you don't touch this at all, if you multiply this one by 2, you will get 8. And then you can equate both of these. So what I'll do is, I'll just multiply the first one by 2. So A is to B, I'll keep that same. 3 into 2 is 6, 4 into 2 is 8. And I'll write this one just as it is. You don't need to multiply this at all. 8 is to 9. Right? So now B is common. 8 is common. So A is to B is to C is equal to 6 is to 8 is to 9. Right? Now they've asked you what is A is to C. So A is to C is this one. A is to C is equal to 6 is to 9. Now this is not the most simplified because you can divide it by 3. So you can write A is to C is equal to 2 is to 3. This is your final answer. Let's go into problem number 3. Problem 3. If A is to B is equal to 8 is to 15, B is to C is equal to 5 is to 8, and C is to D is equal to 4 is to 5, then A is to D is equal to? Alright, now for problem 3, they've said that A is to B is equal to 8 is to 15, B is to C is equal to 5 is to 8, and C is to D is equal to 4 is to 5. What is A is to D? Now, you've got two options here. You can either start with B and try to equate 5 and 15, that's easy, just multiply this by 3. Or what you can do is, you can choose these two and work on these two first. You can choose to equate C and you got 4 and 8, so just multiply this by 2, you'll get 8 and then you can cancel. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm going to go with the first one, right? So I'll work on these two first, then I will try and get this third one in. So I will multiply the second one by 3. So I've got A is to B, I'm writing the first one now, 8 is to 15. And this second ratio, I'll multiply by 3 throughout. So B is to C is equal to 5 threes of 15, 8 threes of 24. Right? So now, here B is common, 15 is common. So I'll write A is to B is to C is equal to 8 is to 15 is to 24. Right? Now, now you've reached here. You've worked on these two. Now you need to incorporate the third one as well. So what I'll do is, I will write it down here. C is to D is equal to 4 is to 5. Now what I need to do is, I need to equate C here because C is the common term in both of these. 
So I, I need to equate these two. So what I'll do is I will multiply this equation by six, correct? Four, six are 24. So A is to B is to C is equal to eight is to 15 is to 24. And this one I'll multiply by six. So it'll be C is to D will be equal to four, six are 24, five, six are 30. Right, so now this one is common and here C is common, right? So my final answer will be A is to B is to C is to D is equal to 8 is to 15 is to 24 is to 30. Now they've asked you what is A is to D? So A is to D is 8 is to 30. So A is to D is equal to 8 is to 30. But this is not the most refined form of this. If I divide this by 4, I can get the, by 2, I can get the final form. So A is to D is equal to 4 is to 15. This is my final answer. All right, so this is part two on lecture on ratio and proportions. If you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Cheers. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, spread the knowledge.